want you in my mind, don't want to feel you. Don't want you in my mind, don't want to feel you. Don't want you in my mind. Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome, so happy to have you here. Tap that subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you've been rock with me for a minute, what's up, what's good, and welcome back. Today is $20 Tuesdays. $20 Tuesdays is a special time on my channel where I showcase super cute yet super affordable wigs for the lovely $20 price range and below. So let's just jump right in. So today's $20 Tuesday is featuring a wig that I already showed you guys. Outre, ooh, Outre Juin. A lot of you really liked that wig. I received a lot of comments on Instagram, on YouTube about it. I felt so compelled by that wig that I decided to purchase another one. Just to let y'all know, it is not a normal occurrence where I repurchase wigs. Doesn't happen often. So the fact that I purchased another one almost instantly is telling you something. But in today's video, I'm actually gonna do it differently than that last video two weeks ago. I'm going to do this as a talk through, as I style, because the last time I did a video like that, you guys seemed to like it. So I was like, let me do it again. And this wig is actually pretty easy, and I want you to see how easy it is. So I'm starting with the brand new wig here. Opening her up. She's looking really cute, really pretty. Ooh, look at these curls. Oh, mama. Okay. Duran is part of Outre's Quick Weave series here. You see that? Technically, it's supposed to be a half wig, but I'm going to show you how I wear her as a full wig. And if you want to see Duran in that beautiful, gorgeous color and hear what I had to say about her two weeks ago, check out that video. I will link it down below. So here we have Duran again. Hey, girl. Mm hmm. She has this comb here in the back. She has two combs here right in the front. And one thing that Outre started doing is just making this part here in the top more seamless because it's supposed to make it easier for you when you decide to leave leave out, if you do want to leave leave out. All right, so this is Julianne, and I'm not just gonna pop, I'm just gonna pop her on and see what she's look. Oh, these curls are divine, I love them. I love the curls of this is like the perfect roller set. Okay. <laughs> I definitely used to get curls like these when I was younger. And it's just it's just taking me back there. It's taking me back to like 1999. I was nine years old back then. How old were y'all? Not to be only out business, but oh the 90s was a crazy time. So yeah, you know, all I'm gonna do is I want to wear her in the same like bang style that I did the other one. And I'm going to pull this here. I'm really trying hard not to disturb the curls because I love the curls. Now, please don't go out the house looking like this, y'all. Like this, this looks like a wig. You still have to take the time to maybe use some scissors like I am to kind of frame it to your face. Once I kind of have the bang area situated here, then I'm gonna start chopping. Oh my God, this is so freaking cute. So now I'm just gonna start chopping here. And if you're wondering how I'm deciding where to cut, when I wear like natural styles of bangs, I want it to be like more of a V cut. So shorter hairs at the top and longer hairs towards the bottom so that it frames as a V. That's normally like how I like to do it. Right here. And I like to cut a little bit at a time. Most likely you're not gonna see me taking a strand and then cutting all the way up here or up here. I like to just cut a little bit at a time and assess each time that I cut. So this one is long and I want the bangs to stop like by my eyebrows. So I'm gonna cut here. This is how I want it to look, cut here. And also when I'm cutting, I'm normally doing at an angle like this. I'm not cutting straight across here. I go angle like so. This. Some of the curls might look a little funky. Not a big deal to me. If for some reason it really was a big deal to you, you can always cut it out. So this curl right here is a little funky, not feeling it, cutting it out, just like that. 
Y'all, I really enjoy bang styles like this, especially on kinky, curly, natural hair. Let me know if you are feeling this so far. Drop me some comments down below. If you watched the other video, how did you feel about the color of that one? Let me know. Talk to me in the comments, cause you know, you know I love when y'all talk to me. This is interesting right here. There we go, this is coming together. She cute, she real cute. Just so you all know also, I'm going to be showcasing my top five $20 wigs so far. So that video will be dropping next week. If it's something that you're interested in, make sure you tap that subscribe button so she don't miss it. Yes. Cause you know, I love me some affordable wigs and based on what y'all tell me, y'all love it too. So right here, I'm just trying to fluff out the wig and I was contemplating leaving it in this style and you can totally do that like leave the curls as is but I started to play around with it a little bit and I was like you know what I think I want to kind of tuck some hair behind my ear and do like some like side um like side bang action I think it looks really cute and would look even more I think it would look even better with like some cute clips, you know, those blinged out clips with different phrases on it. I think that would look really cute. Anything to kind of call attention with some color. I think it would look good. Now, after I did that, I cut away a few sparse ends um, and a few curls that just weren't fitting right with the wig. And I got curious and started combing out the curls because honestly i was like you know i want to experiment with this a little bit i'm combing out these curls a bit because i'm just curious to see what it looks like if i do like comb out the curls individually i feel like i'm feeling that look so i'm gonna try it and see what this looks like and that's the thing like synthetic wigs i love them because you can just make them your own and you don't have to worry about like wow i spent like $200 on a wig and I'm scared to do this. I'm, I'm afraid to do that. Like, no, get you a cheap synthetic wig and like go crazy, like explore, experiment, figure out what works best for you with that wig. Like right now, me combing out these curls is looking really cute and I'm actually kind of surprised. I was a little worried about combing them out, but then I'm like, girl, this wig costs $9.85. What is there to be afraid of? Honest to God, what is there to be afraid of? Me combing this out is actually giving this wig a different look and I am here for it. What? I'm trying to think like, ooh, I actually like this combed out. Okay. I think I want to try combing out with this paddle brush to see what happens. Just to see what happens. I don't mind experimenting, y'all. And I don't want you guys to be scared either. Ooh, I feel like I'm in the 70s. Like, I feel like I have a few aunts that rock their hair just like this with it combed out. But I think I'm going to stick to using this comb because I feel like I have more control over the direction of the curls. When you get a snag like that, I mean, it's best to just separate the hair at the tips and just try again. Like don't try to pull it through a snag cause you're gonna either pull some hair out or you might mess up that part of the wig. So, oh, these curls combed out are looking so voluptuous. Some of the curls are going different directions, but I'm okay with it. At this point, I just kept teasing the curls and snipping the ends as I saw fit. Do what's best for you, y'all. This wig is $9.85. The worst thing that can happen is that you don't like it. At that point, you just try again. This is pretty much it. I'm 
much how I styled Drew Ann. I really like this wig. I think she's super cute. But of course, what I love most is the price of this unit. It retails for $9.85 on ebonyline.com. And that is $5 cheaper than the other websites I've seen this on. So if you want to go check out this wig and grab her up, I suggest you do because the price is still right on Ebony Lime. And this wig came to me, I would say within like three days, four days, I have to double check that. The shipping was decent. So definitely check out this unit. You see, I fluffed out the curls and she's looking super cute, y'all. I like it. She's cute. My mom actually wore her hair like this back in the day. Cause I'm looking at myself like, dang, glad she look like your mom. <laughs> But yes, yeah, as long as you take the time to play with her like I did, I think you will really enjoy this unit. Let me know how you feel about Druin in this natural color down below. Are you going to cop her? The link is right in the description box. Let me know. Talk to me in the comments. And if you are new here, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. Tap that notification bell. Stay a while. Introduce yourself. Let's get to know each other. And if you want to see some of my latest videos, check them out over here to the right of me. Thank you all so much for joining me. I'll see you next time.